The big story, the alliance between Nitish Kumar and the BJP is at break point. The JDU has been hitting out at the BJP, accusing it of working against Nitish Kumar and of trying to break the party. Union Home Minister and BJP's Chief Strategist Amit Shah dialed Nitish Kumar on Monday. That's as per sources. Atar Kishor Prasad, who is the Deputy Chief Minister and from the BJP, also met Nitish Kumar. That meeting has happened at least twice. Sources close to the chief minister, though, say that he's in no mood to be placated. This morning, he'll be meeting all his MLAs to decide on what happens next. An early reading has reportedly convinced him that MLAs are not willing to face midterm elections and would prefer a new alliance over the prospect of fresh elections. Tejasvi Yadav, on the other hand, the leader of the Rashtra Janata Dal, or the RJD, will offer support to Nitish Kumar should he dump the BJP. Uh, the opposition party has indicated that uh, earlier on. RJD MLAs have arrived at Lalu's residence, meanwhile, for another key meeting that is taking place this morning in Bihar. Congress uh, and other political parties, that is the left, have also issued a support uh, to Nitish Kumar, lest he breaks up with the BJP. But so far, all parties remain circumspect till the time that Nitish makes it clear. तेजस्वी बिहार के भविष्य है और मैं व्यक्तिगत तौर पर भी हमेशा उनको आशीर्वाद किया उनके नहीं बुलाने पर भी मैं दो दो बार जाके उनको क्योंकि लालू जी का बेटे हैं इसलिए हमारा जिम्मेदारी बनता है उनके साथ संपर्क रखने में संपर्क हुआ आज कल में जी दो बिहार नहीं हमारे लोग उनके साथ संपर्क में हैं तो कुछ ऐसा होता है तो इस संपर्क का फायदा मिल जाएगा इस पर फायदे की बात नहीं देश बच जाएगा let me go across to Alok for the very latest from Bihar. Alok, first of all, what are we picking up from uh, the JDU? What is the latest? Because yesterday there were some indications that when the BJP delegation tried to placate Nitish Kumar, he said there's no reason to worry. What are the signs that he's sending out currently? Well, I'll just give you a sense of what is happening right now if I just move a little ahead before I talk about all that. So, uh, some of the MLA's... Uh, have started arriving here. The meeting, of course, is slated at 11 a.m. It's still an hour to go before that meeting happens. But at least uh, some of the MLAs have just started arriving at the residence of uh, Nitish Kumar. I think uh, it's going to be, I mean, going to be more or less black and white at least uh, as far as Nitish Kumar's situation is concerned, Ma. Uh, the very fact that he has called this meeting of all his MPs and MLAs, I think, points to the fact that he is going to at least uh, communicate some decision to them either way. I remember that yesterday, uh, last night, and I'll just uh, show you what's happening here as we talk. So these are all MLAs that are arriving and the media, of course, trying to get a sound bite from them. But at the moment, I don't think they're saying much. Or I think at least even if they say something, it's not really that relevant to the situation because uh, in a party like the JDU with Nitish Kumar and the top leadership, perhaps, that uh, will have that call about uh, what to do next. Uh, but the fact is that top leadership, the top leadership of the Janata Dal United in the last some time has said that, that uh, there may be a situation now where the alliance has reached a break point and there may be a situation where they will have to take a call on whether they want to stay with the BJP or whether they want to go ahead. Now that is why this meeting is actually happening and uh, these shots again just to emphasize for our viewers, these shots that you are seeing on your screen right now are of uh, Janata Dal United MLAs actually arriving here at the official residence of the Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar and uh, the media of course trying to get sound bites out of them. Uh, this is one uh, such MLA who has just been here and uh, you know I can hear that some of the journalists who managed to go ahead are trying to ask uh, that MLA uh, what is the big uh, decision that is to be taken but I don't think he is very interested in answering that question right now because he anyway would not be in a position to answer because it's up to Nitish Kumar so to say. Uh, but I think uh, you know the, the, uh, if, you, if you go by what observers, journalists, the newspapers are saying, Maha, then one does feel that some kind of change is imminent here.